What's up, YouTube? What up, friends and fam? What up, new subs? Um, sorry, I'm having some trouble trying to turn these lights off in my rental here. But it's all right, because I'm making the video. I had to hop on here, because ever since I've been in Puerto Rico, I've been running through ideas in my mind about businesses that I could set up here as far as like exporting goes, importing goes. And like, if you're from Puerto Rico or you're from another country or even from Florida or something like this, anywhere, anywhere you're from and you're struggling to set up a business or how to make more money, this is what you do. You look around you, you realize that, say you live in Puerto Rico, you have honey here, you have all these different fruits and vegetables that I don't have back home. Like I don't, I don't have it back home, like straight up. And like yesterday, I, I ate this fruit that was mad good. I forget what it's called. Um, hold on, I'm gonna look it up real quick. So yesterday I had something called a mammy, which uh, let me show y'all. I got a picture of it on my other phone here. Looks like this. Oh, that's, uh, that's a picture of the fucking penis on my car. Look. So this is my idea. Somebody lives in Puerto Rico start an export business to the mainland and you know there's just look at the opportunity in that just look at the opportunity in that because there's plenty of opportunity in it you can actually start really small use usps and flat rate stuff back to the states flat rate stuff back to the states i did the math on that and it, say if i loaded up a honey a, a box of honey um I think it'd be like total profit once all the the honey's sold for a good price, it'd be like 60 or 70 bucks per box. Think about it, you do 60 or 70 dollars per box, you know, you start small and then once you get enough money to get your actual licensing to start an export business from a country like this or from wherever you're gonna sell from, that's what you do. You start really small, have somebody back in Massachusetts or New York or wherever you wanna sell this stuff, sell it for you put your sticker on it, go to the, you know, sell it, however you want to sell it at farmer's markets or however you want to sell this stuff. It's totally up to you. You have to get that part down, but just know there's a flip in it. There's a flip in buying things like that fruit. I just told you, what is it, a mammy? Um, where is it? Yeah, mammy. So even if you've sent a box home of those mammies, I'm, I'm not exactly sure how much I paid for that. Say it's a dollar or two here. You sell it back home for four or five dollars. Like people like me, like who have been to Puerto Rico, who have tasted that fruit, they're gonna, like I'm craving that now. You know what I mean? Like I want that back home. I'll, I'll pay somebody, especially somebody from here who's doing exactly what I said. Like they set up a business, it's a smaller business. I'm, you know what I mean? Like people love that shit, dude. Like somebody like me or a lot of other people would rather pay a dollar more or a dollar and a half more, two bucks more for a piece of fruit from an exotic island over paying it from Whole Foods um, and paying like $2 cheaper. Like I'm being dead ass right now. That's like, that's what this universe is coming to. Um, everybody needs more money. And like I've been saying, everybody needs to set up their own business now. Like times are rough. Like times in Puerto Rico are rough. Like the the inflation here is super real. Like if you think you have a rough back in the States, come to Puerto Rico and be thankful for your situation as far as inflation goes. Inflation here is like super duper real. Um, like to the point where I haven't seen it like this ever. But you know, that's the whole purpose of this video. I just came to tears right now. I'm just like, man, I gotta put that, I gotta put that word out about the flip. Like this is legal flip, like legal flip money. Fill up US, USPS box, because USPS has flat rates, right? So there's like five different sizes. One's an envelope, one's a small box, one's a medium box, one's a large box. I think the most, like the cheapest one is like 10 bucks and then it goes all the way up to $22. But the thing is with USPS flat rate boxes is you can put as much weight as you want into those boxes and it's the same rate here from Puerto Rico all the way to New York, all the way to Alaska, all the way to California. Um, that's the beauty behind this, man. And you know what I mean? I looked it up and you can actually, I mean, you can you can send food through USPS. Like you don't need a big fucking cargo container. You don't need all these permits to do it. Um, 
it's just got to be a cash business. It's that's all it is, and like people are cool with that, man. Like as long as you're not making millions of dollars and the IRS, you know what I mean. That's when the IRS gets involved. But if you're doing like a, say you're supplying like a farmer stand back home, where like say in Pawtucket where I live, there's a lot of Puerto Ricans there. There's a lot of Puerto Ricans. So if a Puerto Rican started a business there, was importing from Puerto Rico here. Everybody would love that shit once once they noticed what was going on. You got to put the word out got to get good at marketing Which I made videos about how to market yourself about my tree company apply that to Your import company. It's that simple like whatever towns you want to target to sell to post on their groups You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, I just started a import business from Puerto Rico or uh, Hawaii or something, you know what I mean? The thing about Puerto Rico I really like is that it doesn't have to go through customs. Like USPS just goes straight to your door. So if you send a box of honey for per se, it'll get there three days later. Like flat uh, flat rate boxes have like a guarantee of like, it's like two to three days shipping. Puerto Rico might be like three to four, you know what I mean? I've gotten a couple boxes here and it took like three days. Yeah, there was actually a couple boxes that came from my parents that like, literally took three days to get here. I was like, it's quicker to get here than it is to ship to California from Massachusetts, swear to God. There's like less stops in between or something. But that's the beauty of it, man. You start small, like off that box of honey, I said, like I even found the jars of honey the last time I made a video about honey was $3 a jar. Now I found a guy that's doing it $2 a jar. I guarantee you if your family's from here, you speak Spanish, you're gonna get it for fucking $1 a jar or 50 cents a jar. Um, and off that jar, you can literally, like, I've seen that same exact jar on island at, um, the organic farm around here, the organic chicken farm, I forget, forget exactly what it's called, but it's over there in Dorado. They're a little bit pricey in my standpoint, but I see where they're going, like, they're supporting the, the organic movement or whatever, um, which I'm cool with, so I didn't mind throwing them some cash, um, but I didn't buy their honey because their honey was literally $10. The same one I, I got for $2 yesterday off a random farmer on the side of the road was $10. $10 on island. So if you send it back home at farmer's markets and stuff like this, you know what I mean? You could, even if you sell $2 jar for $5, like you're making money, you know what I mean? Minus your shipping and all your other costs. But you know what I mean? If you got somebody down here that can ship the shit back up to you, like you're you're good, man. Like you start your little farmer stand, or however you decide you want to sell your honey, or however you decide you want to sell your fruits, or whatever it is. You know what I mean? Like different states have different laws on things. There's a tropical climate here. You can grow a lot of tropical stuff here. Like still United States, so you have the USPS to ship back to. You don't have to cut get through customs with your mail. Um, you know what I mean? Like Mexico, for, for, for instance, like I can't just go to Mexico and ship you back home a box of av avocados without it going through customs. And it's probably illegal because it's not United States to do that. Um, so it's got to go through customs. And I guarantee you like fruits and vegetables are probably on like the do not ship list. So when it goes from, from that, but you can look it up on USPS.com. There's no rules and regulations about shipping food. They just say like, can't you can't expect it to arrive here, like, you know, in good shape. Like they're like obviously don't ship chicken and shit like that, which I feel like you can um, if you have the correct packaging. Cause like Butcher Box, they ship chicken, they ship shit like that. So they just don't ship down here. There are a couple meat factories or meat companies that do ship down here. It's an only thing Puerto Rico needs is organic food. Like if you could start some sort of organic food movement here, like I said, start slow, sell it to farmers markets. Oh my God, you can make a killing doing that down here. Cause I can't tell you how much I would pay for organic chicken right now. Um, like, like we, like say if you live in South Florida, you ship, you know what I mean? You freeze whatever you buy at Whole Foods, the organic chicken, freeze it. And then, literally, I would probably pay double the price. Like, I'd be happy. I'd be like, fuck it, I found it. Like, that's it. It is what it is. Like, you know what I mean? I'm in Puerto Rico. It's literally, like, very... I have not found an organic chicken in the store um, at any of the stores I went to. So, that's, like, a huge market for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I know for a fact there's more Americans here than there ever has been because they're pissed off about it. So... 
what I'm thinking is that there's more Americans here that want to eat healthily, want to eat organically. Another idea for Puerto Rico, set up a gym, set up a 24 hour gym that, you know what I mean? Start small and charge, charge the visitors like a hundred bucks a month. You know what I mean? I can't tell you, I would definitely pay a hundred dollars a month for a nice gym that's not Planet Fitness. I fucking hate working on a Planet Fitness. It's like, uh, Planet Fitness anywhere you go, it's a bad vibe in my opinion. So why not just set up your own gym that's like an anytime fitness, you know what I mean? Start small. Um, like, that's what this community needs, man. They need, like, little little hood gyms like that, which they uh, they probably do have. It's just I haven't found any. It's It's been tough because I don't speak Spanish, but um, you could definitely set that up here, and you'd be very successful. And if you advertise online, 24-hour gym, um you do all right. I don't know what the rules and regulations are on that as, as far as like licensing and insurance and all that. But I figure a lot of people would go to that 24 hour gym because it's literally, I, I don't know if it's like because of COVID planet isn't open 24 hours, but all they have for like a 24 hour gym is planet and planet fucking sucks. Um, they do have crunch here too, crunch gym, but it's like, it's like three locations in the whole island. Um, so I definitely feel like there's a need for a localized Puerto Rican 24 hour gym, you know, start small, like I said, advertise in groups and then keep the ball rolling on that, man. Like I would hate to, I mean, I would actually love to set up that gym here. Um, not going to happen anytime soon. I don't think, um, but I would love to do that for the people here because they, they're, they're lacking in that man. Like that's the one thing. More than anything, I want to go home, like, tomorrow because fucking the gym's here. You know what I mean? Like, I love going to my gym early as fuck in the morning, not have to worry about shit, not have to fucking only, like, another guy or two is there. You know what I'm saying? So, I could set that up here. That'd be pretty badass. Um, yeah, I got a lot of ideas, guys, because if you ever need a business idea, just fucking let me know where you live, and I will brainstorm um, in my mind about what you should do. Um, if you live in fucking Dubai, they sell gold there, gold chains like this one for cheaper because the cost of labor to make the gold chains is cheaper. Um, I'm actually going to make, be making a trip to Dubai sooner than later. Um, and I'm just going to fucking get a bunch of gold. You can let it, you can legally buy $10,000 worth of gold in Dubai, bring it back here and not get taxed on it. Like. There's a business right there. If, <laughs> there's a business right there. Go to Dubai, start buying gold, and then collect your gold, sell it on eBay, and yeah, you'll make a fucking killing. I don't know what the percentage is, how much cheaper it is in Dubai for a gold chain, but I would guess it's something like 20% cheaper or something, or even 30% cheaper. So go over there and buy some Cuban links and sell it back home on eBay. Man, you fucking... I, I've actually been starting to, do, like, starting to think that way and do that because... Uh, I'm just giving it all out now, man. You should be paying for this info. All right, with that, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let's go.